Hey guys, I needed a little bit of a break from crochet just so I don't get arthritis, but I still did want to post a video for you guys. So we're going to be looking at everything I've ever crocheted ever and a little bit into how I started my own small business. Thank you to this comment who posted a little bit of a while ago. I feel like I wasn't that experienced back then or like when I posted that video, but I know a little bit more now. So I did want to incorporate it in this video. Hitting two birds with one stone type of thing. Almost everything that I don't have physically with me, I've already sold. Therefore, they'll be right here in a video or picture form. So if I'm on one side of the screen, you know why, especially because of my closet. I won't be individually speaking about things that I repeated, but at the end, I will have a counted up number of approximately everything I've crocheted. But a little bit of context, my beautiful, beautiful mother tried teaching me how to crochet. I wanna say in sixth or seventh grade, I'm in 12th grade now, but I was very stubborn. However, a couple years later, I still got very interested in it. And my teacher that knew how, knew how to crochet and knit attempted teaching me. Now for a little bit of a sit down type of talk. Okay, so if we wanna talk more about how my channel started, my crocheting, actual business type thing we should get more in depth about my friends my friends were such a big part of my business mainly because they always motivated me to crochet to keep going because it was tough at times it was a lot as i mentioned previous but it was so fun to make things and like get uh validation from them so that was by far one of the best parts getting like compliments because you know who doesn't like compliments and because i was interested i kept going and so <laughs> brace yourself for this one i found it a while back and i was like okay this is i have to create this video because you know this was my very first creation this one was the first one this is the second but you could tell i didn't know where to put my crochet hook i remember vividly only crocheting in the i think it was the front loops i used to do only the front loops of my projects i always had this in the back and like this in the front and i stayed like that for like a really long time i didn't know where my mistake was this is like the outside supposedly but the inside oh my gosh like you could tell how like the indents and everything are pretty uneven eventually i don't know how or when but eventually i stopped doing the front loops or back loops and um i started crocheting regularly but i firmly believe in that that was the right way for the longest time and i'm pretty sure i continued that throughout my first orders and that was actually these two these were my two very first orders this one was my friend's order she ordered a fish and then he showed it to my teacher and then my teacher bought the exact same thing but in different colors which is this one i did use front loops with this one as well I don't know if you could tell, but um, I just didn't know what I was doing. But I followed the tutorial and I think a little bit after this point is when I like clocked into my brain like, wait, this doesn't look like hers for a reason. But soon, soon after that, my teacher told me to promote. She's like, print flyers, put it around the school, tell your friends, post it on Instagram. And girl, I did so. After I started posting on YouTube, I would post my thumbnails on Instagram promoting to people to like go watch it. I'd go to school and people like, uh, as in like my friends that follow me on Instagram, they're like, oh, I watched your video. And usually that would like embarrass me because like I'm a small channel. My business is like also pretty small. So for them to say that it's like, that's like such a big YouTuber type thing to say. So it just like made me like a little bit embarrassed, a little bit like, bro, what? But I honestly loved that. I was really glad that uh, someone took the time to watch my video. Cause that's crazy. I don't know, that's just crazy to me. Because I've been always wanting to do YouTube, and so this is like a little bit into it. I put it out everywhere. I told my friends, I was like, hey, do you know anyone that might like crochet stuff or anything homemade? And most of the time, it's like, oh, I don't know, I'll ask around. And then I wouldn't get back from them. But uh, other times, I would, and then that same person would order, and that would really boost my confidence in like crocheting more making more people started ordering for me and I'm, i was so so thankful but there was a specifically one order that ordered multiple items and a lot of them were very detailed safe to say that burnt me out real quick because that time was around i want to say november 2022 i did not crochet till july of 2023 so like 
a good while within that break people were telling me like oh are you still crocheting can you make me this can you make me that but i was like i don't know man i'm not making anything right now and people were telling me like don't give up it was a lot on me especially because i was like i think a sophomore maybe junior it was a lot of work like actual school work and like on the side like trying to learn new things for people yeah. to like want and stuff i just said no to orders at that time i was like i'm not i don't want to make something or start a business that i'm just gonna hate and resent because of the amount of stuff that i have to make and it's not really fun anymore i didn't do youtube when i was burnt out because i knew if i kept getting burnt out i would not continue to same thing with crochet so i just stopped crocheting for that while being and then a little bit after i was like okay let's try this again i did a little u-turn on everything and i started fresh i started fresh i started clean uh no one had any orders for me i just wanted to do it for myself and i did i did a little bit later around august of 2023 started my yarn obsession i went to joanne's i got like i think this color yarn for the first time and then a couple others and i was like oh my god this is my prime time i am motivation the gears are tingling come up with new things post everywhere i will lock in um however i did not lock in on youtube i tried to but it it was still too much for me to process so then i couldn't do three things at once school youtube and trying to learn but i tried incorporating everything together and multitasking so i would take my yarn to school to classes um and it wouldn't be a problem for most teachers because as long as i finish my work and i'm listening to what they're saying why is there a problem it, they let the crochet hook through the scanners because the crochet hook is rounded so it can't really you can't really stab someone like and why would you so even like family functions which are very rare i still took them because I felt like I could get stuff done or I could gain customers, which did work actually. Because people would be like, oh, what is that? I want it. <laughs> and that would work. Uh, I have a Egypt vlog I'm supposed to be posting. Let me know if you guys want to watch that and I'll like produce it. I don't know yet because it was from like two, three years ago. I don't know. I look different. It was weird. Um, as far as my YouTube channel goes, I used to do YouTube before with my sister, but she never actually showed up on YouTube because my parents never liked that and they didn't like me being on YouTube either. However, I somehow convinced them that I could do this and this would give me more sales and then possibly make me more money because of like the crocheting and selling stuff. And so that kind of clicked in their heads. They're like, why not? Okay, go ahead. They're still reluctant to this day about actual videos and like putting myself out there, but slowly slowly step by step they started to warm up um so that was my first ever video it was my baking video i don't know it had nothing to do with crocheting but at the time i just liked cooking i still do but not as much because crocheting does take up a lot of time and then i made a vlog with my friends because i loved lifestyle type videos for me to post but then my parents didn't let me post it they were like it's too much no and i'm like okay fine i i respected that because they didn't let me do it in the first place so like i was like okay fine let me just go by what they say so then they don't get like pissed and stuff okay this isn't working apparently it wasn't working the whole time regarding a lot of my markets i would try to sell like the small things because they'd be cheaper and therefore the high school students would be able to afford it and usually that did work and maybe one or two people would love the more expensive side of things according to my last market people tend to like the cheaper things like the scrunchies the flowers the flowers usually sell out immediately also as well as the chickens ghosts and the bees the bees are by far like the one that go out quick i'd get messages like oh can you make me matching bees like different va variations and people usually like that i don't know it's, i think these are just so cute like look at it why wouldn't you want it and if i had to choose something that was least selling it would probably be my airpod pockets i have a lot of them these are my airpod pockets put your airpods and then you take this little ring and then there's like this little area right here you take it put it through the back and then you could put it on your jeans and they would just hang off and they're secure they won't fall out it's pretty good um but these are by far the ones that sell the least not that it's expensive it's like i sell it for seven dollars at markets they don't sell because people already have airpod cases and so that's usually the first thing they get after buying the airpods so to have another one is just like mm, i don't know i don't know i can't really say another thing that doesn't usually sell often are hats i think people just find it unnecessary i <sighs> 
I don't know. A lot of them are kind of small for my head, so I can't wear them. But this one is pretty thick, I think. If no one buys it, I'll just wear it. This one as well. I think I really like this one. Um, it's a little bucket hat. Um, but these two, they're kind of small on my head. But they're so cute. I feel like it just doesn't fit with the hijab and everything. But yeah, these don't usually sell much. I've only sold two, three hats in my entire time of having a business if i had to say my most fun product to make would have to be my cake boxes they're so fun and they just look at it i just love making them they're different variations they look like real they look like real cake and they're really good storage like they're just so fun to make because i have to hot glue them uh usually i don't like tedious small things like that need hot gluing or like sewing but these are fun, so fun, so cute. Do we wanna talk about the many bags of unfinished either whips or things I tried making that didn't work out? I'll show you an example. I attempted making, can you guess what it is before I show you the picture? Oh, maybe, maybe through this. And this is like the back. Can you guess? This is what I tried making. I'd never continued. I don't know what it was. I think it's the many pieces. It's so cute though. I really want to make it. Maybe, maybe in the future, maybe, I don't know. But I just have a lot of the pieces for it and I just never wanted to continue. Another thing, I tried making an octopus without like, without the tentacles being a puff stitch. Um, yeah, no, it was too many, too many of these and it was unproportionate. So I couldn't fit eight. I'd have to probably do more. I just didn't want to continue that. And then there's just these random circles. What is, what was this supposed to be? I don't know what was going on here. I, I, I really don't. There's just a well-chained mini scarf, like for a doll or something. That's cute. I might add this to like an already finished product as like accessory. A very poorly done star. I'm pretty sure this was my first attempt on a star, but I don't know why I did it with blue. And then like, I think I made a mistake here so it doesn't really close because then it just keeps opening back up. And these are like more towards like the now, like those were before, like way back when I first started. This bag is like more recent. I just have a square, I think I washed it. Oh wait, no, I ironed it and now it's like, it could be a coaster maybe. I know I have like five of these because I wanted to make like a top out of it, like a white and navy top and I never continued. And this one, I, I wanted to make a joy themed bandana for when it first came out. I was like getting somewhere, but I just never continued like the, I could, I probably could finish this in like maybe 10 minutes max. Like I have to chain stitch. I don't know what this, I think I, I meant to make like a chain out of this, but I think I'd have to make it separately. I mean, I get the vision, but it's just, it's not like my other one. This is my other one. She's so gorgeous. It also didn't sell in my last market. But I, I don't know, I don't know why. Look at it, she's so pretty. Let me actually, let me try to put it on. I don't know if it's gonna work with this hijab because my hijab, I'm trying to switch up my hijab style and I think this one might stick along with me for a while. Yeah, I don't know if this works with the hijab. I think this really works when your hair is like down and you have like the pieces right here. I mean, you could probably make it work. I don't know if it works with this, this, the fit. Maybe I'm just wearing it wrong. You know what I mean? And then in this bag, I just have like a bunch of flowers that I, uh, was supposed to put in my last market, but I just got lazy and then didn't do it. If you didn't watch that video, go watch it. It was really fun. Go see if it was successful because I know my last, last market was eh. So go see this one. See if I might have done better. Who knows? Maybe you guys could know what does actually sell in like a market and you could watch it. Hmm. The most time-consuming product. One time-consuming product that I made personally. This one, it was so many colors, so many ends to weave, but this is what it looks like on. I think it's so gorgeous on, like with the right outfit is just so pretty. I was supposed to brush it out, but a lot of the comments said not to. My friends just said like, yeah, keep it this way and as well as my mom. So I'm just listening. However, it wasn't always cupcakes and rainbows with making sweaters. My very first attempt on making a top. It was a very popular top, I wanna say. It was very popular in the crocheting community, especially cause like people wanted to make bikinis and not that I was gonna wear a bikini anywhere. Um, I just wanted to make a top. Maybe I could wear it at home or something. Needless to say, <laughs> um, this isn't gonna fit anybody. Like I was like, oh, maybe I could use it for my sister or something. Or like she could have a little, it doesn't even fit her. It doesn't fit anyone. Uh, this was my first attempt at like color changing top type thing. 
um i don't know what's going on here and this yarn i think it's mohair so it just rips very easily and i don't know what i was going with here because like whose waist is gonna fit around if anything it could be like a, a little pocketbook i don't know maybe like a little a little handbag that's why i left it and did not do anything with it it's just here my second attempt was actually a sweater close to my most popular one not making but my most popular one wearing because i wear this one shirt that i'll show right after this one a lot i wear it so much but this one was my first attempt on it this one is my very first sweater um i followed a tutorial but it's not the tutorial's fault i just don't know how to follow instructions i don't know what it was but around right here it just started caving in i never thought of blocking it i didn't even know what to say about this one because it was just a disaster in itself i, I i'm sorry i'm sorry I mean, it, it doesn't look horrible, but it's not good either, so um, I just don't wear it anymore. But this one, I'm sorry. This one, however, uh, there's renovations in the house, so I can't go to where it is. I love this shirt with a burning passion. She's... I may be over-exaggerating and a little biased because I made it. But look at it. I feel like it just fits so many outfits if I wanted to try. But this outfit, particularly the, the heart jeans with the white top... I cannot say that enough. And I get so many compliments about it. It's like, wait, did you make that? And I'm like, yeah, I did. It is It is getting very popular for Shein and Temu to have those type of things. Those are very unethical sources. I only had two Etsy orders and it's this heart pillow. I didn't get any of the revenue that came out of it because I was using Etsy ads. I don't know, if you're starting a small business, I don't suggest you start with Etsy just yet. Try your friends, family, see how it is try to practice with your own products before selling because i made the mistake of just selling uh on etsy and not like learning everything about it first i'm not shaming on etsy i know a lot of people are so successful on etsy i just haven't gotten there yet i do have a very long list on my notes of things that i have sold within but that's like my whole brand like making things cheaper for high school students to afford and for anyone who may want it uh dm me on instagram i'll ship it to you that included a total of like maybe six orders of mushroom boys to remy the rat from red red to these aren't my photos i got sent them by the person who ordered them it was a little tedious because it's a lot of pieces but i got the tour from youtube if you want that it'll be in the link description props to that person that took so much time to make that pattern because i know oh my gosh that must have taken a little bit i also got an order of three bees two full-size cats two cows two leggy froggies two chickens slash duck we'll get back to those in a second i found another bag of just unfinished things a bear had potential but didn't quite get there the ribbon bag that i swore i would continue never did probably never will i redeemed though i made this one instead I made this camera holder, but this was also just for me. It was catered to my Canon. I really used to record with the camera, but then I didn't like the quality of it. So now I just record on my phone. Chunky B almost had the potential, but then... I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I tried making a little wallet type thing, but then the magnet fell off because it was uh, hot glue. And I didn't know what to do about it. So I just... Put it in a bag this was supposed to be my brother's ski mask uh that i was supposed to make for him and it never happened cat in a pot cat in a pot this was the reference photo that i got this is what i, I think it's kind of cute i think i got two or three orders of the spider-man upside down uh hanging spider-man koi fish was such a also fun thing to make because of the colors it looked so real compared to like a real fish and a lot of the most recent ones was the sad hamster meme i sold that one in my latest market and then i got two more orders for the same thing just recently and it's already been fulfilled this one this one a recreation of my very first bag which was this and then this is also a recreation of my second ever bag which was this one I know I have a couple more orders to go, but I won't count it. I'm just going to count things that are already done as the final estimated things that I've crocheted. So like all the whips that are unfinished, I, I won't count that. And these are the many more stuff that I made. It was just too much for me to uh, actually name. It was just going to be boring for you guys just naming them out things that I made. The estimated count is coming soon. 
stay patient with me i was so happy with the comments i love comments i adore comments thank you to everyone who comments subscribes likes interacts in my videos watching it thank you so much i love and appreciate every single one of you recording is usually the fun part and editing takes so much time it's so tedious but then i got through it with the i tried crocheting for 24 hours this video i got my first 2000 views and i was like whoa this is new i should keep going i try to post every month at least but hopefully i'll be more consistent from now on and then i'm not gonna name every video i have but there is a long playlist of crochet stuff if you guys like this type of content um this one's more of a sit down and talk crochet with me kind of a how I got my business to where I'm at. But if you wanna watch more crochet type things, stay watch this video, but also go check those out. If you have any suggestions for any other videos you guys would love to see, this is a video isn't over yet, but if you guys would like to see any specific videos, let me know in the comments. I read every single one, respond to every single one. No one is left out. Okay, after everything has been calculated and everything but an estimation, because obviously like I don't have count of everything but i made 307 items in total 307 that's so crazy like how does one make that many items it's so fun to make like after learning like the basics of crochet um i wanted to tell everybody about it i was like bro crochet is like so easy once you get the hang of it i'm telling you if you ever want to crochet this is your sign like go do it it is so so fun you just have to learn like three four maybe five uh stitches and then boom you could make so so much i'm not even kidding magic ring uh slip stitch uh chain stitch uh single crochet half double crochet maybe seven uh triple and double if you know those you could do so much anyways i couldn't calculate how much everything was because i'm pretty sure i'd be like what around like 30 something items is 300 dollars. so if you want to do the math but that's a little bit, a little bit into my crocheting journey, a little bit into what I do on the daily. Um, if you guys want more videos like this, a little bit of a sit down vlog, more we could talk face to face, more pictures and videos rather than actual doing, let me know and I will for sure get that out for you. And it did sure give my hands a break. Please be careful when you crochet. Don't give yourself arthritis from crocheting too much because that same position of like holding your thing and like tension, it, it it's painful it gets painful i gave myself a little break don't forget to give yourself a little break don't forget to do stretches it's very very important but other than that thank you so 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 much for listening to me yap for i don't know how many minutes long i hope you have a great 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 rest of your day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time make sure to smile at sunna says look at it look at it so, there's so much this is a growing obsession that's too much calculations for my brain and my calculator because i've been putting my calculator through so much just one plus seven plus because i cannot do math but my calculator can so it did it for me check out my etsy i'll leave you guys alone